Hey guys, it's Tedek, and in today's video, we will be covering the Night Owl Bowl. But before we get into that, let's, uh, I just want to say a couple words. Uh, I just want you to know that I'm packing, and if you are using supporter creator code, definitely use mine. <laughs> okay, now, now we're joking. We're done with that joke. Um, so yeah, so let's talk about the Night Owl Bowl. Is it worth perking up? Is it worth grabbing? Is it worth using? So we'll, we'll answer that very vaguely. It, it's yes and no. It's not the best weapon, and it's definitely not the worst weapon. It fills a niche, like most weapons do. So now let's talk about the roles you're gonna want on the weapon. So unlike, you know, the compression burster and all that, this weapon is not an impact build. There's no different way to roll it. There's, there's a god roll for this build, and the roles are crit damage, crit rating, fire or physical, uh, unfortunately, there is no water or nature or energy, so you're gonna have to run it a specific element, which is good in the long run because specific element weapons do more damage, and then crit damage and adds up to 80% bonus damage based on missing health. And that perk is gonna come in clutch, you're gonna see it. And uh, yeah, that's the way you run it. So now let's talk about the sixth perk, which is not good at all. Unfortunately, I cannot do the math and give you exact values on how much this do, but I can tell you it's it's not a lot because 129 base damage on different builds, like say like on tank or Wukong, it's pathetic. It's around 100k, it's around 150k, and it's just it's just lame. Especially how it works on the Night Owl. So for the Night Owl, you need to get two eliminations with the bow in order to get this perk to activate. And the less HP you have, the more damage it does. So you really have to be on your last limbs to kill anything. And if it does trigger, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not gonna kill a Husky Husk in the higher level. It's gonna kill all the Husks and the Husklings, and that's about it. So it's it's not a good six perk at all. It's not it's not great at all. And then you're gonna look at the stats, and, and so you're gonna look at the weapon and it's like, oh man, this weapon's garbage. This weapon's garbage. But it's not. It's not bad. It's actually pretty good. So. The reason why this weapon is good is because of its description. Like the Hydraulic Bow and the Vinertech Seeker, it hides a secret. So the description is, Black Metal fires an arrow that drops over time, dealing moderate damage and heavy impact. Damage, range, and velocity increase with charge time. So as you charge the bow up, it does more damage. How much more damage? Well, a 2.55 uh, 2 five multiplier. So that's a lot. So essentially say if you're doing a million damage with the bow with a full charge shot You're gonna be doing two million point five hundred thousand two point five million damage with the bow That's how much damage that freaking charge time is So if you're gonna run around spamming this bow like Legolas That's not the way you're gonna want to use it because it won't do any damage at all If you want to do that the boom bow exists and it's definitely the ultimate choice out of the two in terms of AoE, the six perk for this doesn't, you know, cover AoE, so you don't want to use it for AoE. So what do you want to use the bow for? Well, you want to use it because it has incredible single target damage. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be chilling on the base or at the end of your tunnels and just sniping with the bow, anything that has a lot of HP. Because if you're lucky and you hit a crit shot with this weapon, you'll do like 2 million damage almost all the time or 1.8 million damage depending on your loadout and depending on your hp speaking of loadouts quick plug let's show you the loadout so the loadout i personally ran uh is rabbit raider jonesy totally rocking out because totally rocking out increases that crit chance and that's the one downside of this bow of how many times it doesn't crit and if you don't crit it's just awful so that's why we're running totally rocking out fumble sub wafers so we can you know trigger tr trigger totally rocking out now, if you're building trap tunnels, Battle Beat can replace Fumble, but if you're not building trap tunnels and you're just using the bow to kill husks and you're not placing a single trap because you're an awful teammate, then use Fumble. If you are, then obviously you'd use Battle Beat because then it'll have all the time and you'll just be insane doing insane damage. Quick scope for extra sniper rifle damage, locked and reloaded for, because you're going to be reloading every time you shoot, so extra 50% damage basically every shot, and bomb suit. The reason why I'm using Bomb Suit and not Survivorless is because of the fifth perk on the uh, the bow, which with lower HP you do more damage. So I don't want to regenerate HP. If I did want to regenerate HP, then that would suck. And the and it sucks that Totally Rocking Out heals you. It actually doesn't suck. It's really good. But 
because of healing you it kind of like reduces the effectiveness of my perk but that's fine so like i was saying with this loadout you can go run around and you can uh not run around you can camp and snipe with the bow and deal a lot of single target damage on say a smasher a blaster or takers in a 163 mission where i was using this bow and testing it the whole time i was able to one shot takers i was able to one shot blasters and if i'm lucky i was able to two shot smashers and that didn't happen because i'm very unlucky I'm very very unlucky but the potential is there and if you reduce your hp to a certain amount trigger totally rocking now and trigger war cry you have the potential to one shot a smasher i didn't do it but i would like to see you guys try because like i couldn't do it in fact i failed three times trying to do it literally each individual time i was like yeah this is the moment this is the moment this is the moment i'm a one shot a smasher on stream and it was just like yeah 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 failed three times in a row and that's it you ain't trying anymore and um yeah that's the way i run the night owl um it's not the best bow in the game straight up it's it's very good but it's not it's not like oh this is game changing it's 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 like you know any other weapon it fills a niche and that's about it given a given a few time a few days from now everyone will stop using it it's just one of those weapons that are like okay use this for now and then once you're done with it and you're done playing with it it'll fall off and that's a shame but i will keep using it because that single target damage is insane oh and there's one more thing i want to talk about with this weapon so if you don't have the Deatomizer 9000, and you don't have the Santa's Little Helper, and you don't have the MSK Wrath, you can use this bow as a skill weapon in the MSK fight. Because the damage on the MSK is 1.8 million on a full charge shot on a crystal in four, with four players. So if you need a good starting weapon, you can definitely use the Night Owl for the MSK. Essentially, it's just it's okay there it's definitely not the best and i'll tell you that right now it's horrible everywhere else uh not really but like you know it kind of is for saturation purposes um but yeah until you get the msk launcher for the msk the night owl is not a bad secondary choice it's pretty cool and you could use rabbit raider jonesy because and then you have war cry so you can buff the teammates and you're also doing high crystal damage it's not good for if you're not hitting your crit shots it's definitely not that good for the mini boss and it's absolutely atrocious for the msk himself the mythic storm king boss damage when you get up to that point it's definitely better to choose a different weapon or just hope to best that you crit or eat away for and just crit as much as you can but that's where i can recommend the weapon to do in a second area so now let's go put our favorite new black metal bow on the tier list it's definitely not my favorite let's just all right, so now that we have the Night Owl on the tier list and it's practically blending in with the thing, let's just give it a stroke. Not like a, like a, like a, like a uh, stroke. Let's give it a white stroke so you can see it a little better because I definitely cannot see it. So now that we have the Night Owl weapon, oh, that's a lot better actually. Now that we have the Night Owl weapon on the Photoshop, let's give it a quick review to see where it lies. It's horrible against AOE and this is a zombie game. This is a husk game where you kill zombies. It's definitely not that good, but it has incredibly high, incredibly high single target damage. So it definitely gets a point there, but because of that very, very atrocious team perk where it's essentially kind of useless, I'm really only using it so I can lose HP, it also loses a point. And um, let's see, it's decent in the MSK fight, but it's not the best in the MSK fight overall the weapon's not that good it's like you'll use it in certain situations and that's about it and it also falls off because that single target damage is wonderful but it only works on either physical or nature husks which is oh which is very unfortunate it's so unfortunate but we're gonna have to make do with it so because of all of those things put together i'm personally putting the night owl in the b tier and I'm also gonna remove, no, I'm not gonna remove anything. And yeah, that's how I feel about the Night Owl. It's definitely worth the pickup though, and definitely worth the pickup so you, the perk up so you can use it in the niche. But if you're not gonna do the niche, like I stated in this video, do not get this weapon for that. But personally, it's okay. And yeah, that's about it. 
thank you guys for watching my video if you did enjoy the video don't forget to like comment subscribe and maybe use my creator code and um i'll catch you in the next one love ya and toodles